What's up crafters? My name is Grim Savior, and today we are going to be looking at water mechanics. When I first started this game, I had so much trouble with water, and hopefully after you watch this tutorial, you will be a pro and you won't have to struggle like I did. So, the first thing you have to know about water is it can be stored in a bucket. It can be picked up or dropped. And when you put it down, it will spread eight blocks in every direction. As you can see here, we have these glass panes and they are eight blocks long and it goes right to the edge there. Now, if you want your water to go further because you are transporting items in a water stream, you can step it down and only make it seven blocks uh, wide there and it'll go all the way down to the end and you can see there um, it goes that eighth block because uh, I've made it seven all the way so that everything was even. Uh, another thing that I didn't know when I first started playing was how to make uh, water slant uh, so that you could collect items when it was more than one block wide. Um, and how you do that is by taking hot slabs or leaves and then you can just fill this area here and uh, when you're done you just you just remove the leaves and the slabs and then the water will stay the way that it is. Uh, unless you mess with it and accidentally place a block on top of it um, and then you can get things like kelp from kelp farms to go inside hoppers like we see there whoopsies making a mess that's okay all right another thing you need to know about water is if you make a wheat field and you still want to be able to walk through your wheat field you can place down leaf blocks or lily pods or scaffolding or my favorite uh, a stair or a half slab in order to waterlog them and still be able to grow your crops. I really like to use stairs because if you make a farm then the water won't leak out of the bottom. Another way or another thing you can do with water is restrain it using doors, uh, trap doors, high cow, pressure plates, buttons, signs, fence posts or fence gates opened or closed or even a hopper and then that way you can control where the water goes, such as when you're trying to make uh, bubble ele elevators. Um, also in your world, you might want to do infinite water sources, and how you can do that is like so, and then you can draw water from the corner, or you can put one water in each corner and it becomes infinite, and you can draw from all the corners, or you can do three wide, and as long as you draw water from the middle, then it won't disappear on you but if you take it from the sides then well it's gone so there you go draw from the middle or you can watch my previous tutorial on how to make an infinite cauldron and then you'll have all the water you'll ever need um, if you want to make a cool waterfall in your world you can simply dig down one block and then the water will go in there and not spill all over the place like so we'll clean up that mess here there we go or you could put blocks around it uh, so that when it falls down, the water doesn't spill everywhere. Incidentally, this works for lava as well. You can use water to farm crops uh, because it's dispensable. So we've got it here in a dispenser, and there you go. The carrots go into the hopper, and there's your bucket, right? And of course, when you... Um, darn you, screen recorder. One second here. Sorry, guys. There we go. When you turn it back off... Oh my goodness, this is going horribly wrong. There you go, it goes back in there. And then we'll go like this. There you go, clean up that mess. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, you can also make a cool shower with water, like so. My favorite. Oh yes, nothing like the feeling of clean. You can also make bubble out elevators, like this. There we go. Uh, you can go up or down. You use soul sand on the bottom there in order to go up or magma blocks in order to go down. So there you go. You totally didn't see that mess that I just made there. Nope, nope. I know. Okay, fine. I'm on mobile. You know, the controls are horrible. Anyways, my name is Grim Savior, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, I would like it if you could please subscribe or leave a like it would be greatly appreciated and we will see you on the next one